Hey guys, it is me, Kisame Unlimited. And me, I'm probably gonna pass out before this day is over. You know, your name used to be Spidiness24. You try to do be all hip and fun by trying to change your name. Just call yourself Spidey. <laughs> Real ones know who I am. I don't have to explain it to them. I'm forgetting who you are. But for anybody who's new, this is the top 10 video. This is the top 10... Best level 10 or rank, rank 10, 10. Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this game. So these are our personal opinions of what we believe are the top 10 This best. is his list, not mine. Your so list will be next Tuesday. I am live reacting to this, to his list. As long with you guys, so please comment down below whatever thoughts. If he says anything crazy, comment it down below. Let us know. And like the video while you're down there. Because if you like the video and you comment, you get a free chance to win a rare card from this pack that we will be opening at the end of this video. And then we will sign the cards. If you want. Is that the one because of the um that well, stupid rank up card and it's like, yeah. easy to bring out? Well, it comes on the field and it's basically like, I'm literally invincible. Like, I'm unaffected by all these card effects. And having any card that you can literally slap on pretty easily it's pretty easy for raid raptors to spit that card out i mean i remember when that card came out and it was like a little bit of a hype behind it mm -hmm. it died very quickly it did die <laughs> because raid raptors honestly weren't that popular i think it, they got rid of like a rank up card i mean I, I, I actually phrased that wrong they were popular they just weren't good they were not they weren't yeah. it. so and, but ultimate falcon is still a really good Rank 10, I consider it one of the best. Well, considering the fact that you just said because it um it's unaffected by a lot of cards, yeah. so that begs me to ask this question. G going forward into your list, what is the criteria of things that you consider to make a card the best rank 10? I view it mainly based off of how played it was. Like, if it was played a lot and the community were like, everyone plays it, I kind of give you know, it more. It's got to be the best. I don't have it be like, oh, this card is like so problematic. Like a card that I wanted to put on this list was the Star Kaiju, the 3300 one, because of how meta and relevant that card was. I didn't put it on the list. He didn't make my list either. So, but I, he was very, he was like number 11 because it's like his meta relevance in the game was so impactful. But I felt, is he a problem? No. I know this would get here. Cause, no, no. cause, motherfucker, you can't. He's like she in with double the attack points that gives you a replacement synchro. Mm. Ha, what the fuck do you have against Light Flare? Like for real, for real, brother. You're gonna come, <laughs> <laughs> brother, for real, Light Flare. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, come on! No. You can't see the good just because you're too stupid to know how to bring them out. It's not my fault. Because you're the only my person fault. on earth who's figured out how to play Cardians. Yes. You're like, yo, it's gotta be. You know, you know what you feel like. You're like the one person who figured out how to make like a shitty bike, but you keep bringing it everywhere. Like, hey guys, you know I made this, right? It's like nobody cares about your shitty birdhouse. Nobody wants to play with it. Just because you're the only person who figured it out doesn't mean it's good. It just means you're the only person who cared enough. But everybody else is like, oh, this is shit. No! What the fuck about this? Fuck him, busted. <laughs> that now, card alone has caused me so much now, fucking aggravation. I want you to know this. I consider that card a very good level 10 monster. Uh -huh. So, now, so you for the rest of, no, 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 no. So, for the rest of your list, everything you say, I'm putting So, what I'm getting so from that is he's in your top three. It's not even just that. It's just I the got fact that. of... You can't eight. Mm -hmm. is, to me, it's disrespectful. You can't name eight to seven cards better than Red Eyes Darkness. Do it. Go ahead. Why? why well, we all know why it's good. I know why it's good. You know why it's good. Hopefully, they know why it's good. It's a, one of the best dragon it's monsters. Limited. It's limited. Mm -hmm. One of the best dragon monsters to have ever existed in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. And no matter how long from the day that it's come out till the day of today of us, us filming this video, that card has been meta relevant and has always remained as one of the better dragon monsters to have ever existed. Mm -hmm. You have anything else you want to say about it now? Because I'm going to move on with your list. I'm going to compare everything you say to Red Eyes Dark okay. Metal. And I'm going to shut up. Go ahead. It's you don't just... I'm expecting to hear some good, 
great shit. That is you're, a great car. You, you are jumping from mother. You, you're jumping from red ass darkness metal to a lunar light. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'm actually like mad. <laughs> like, because I yeah, been let, mad. yeah, let me paint to you a story. Don't paint. <laughs> <laughs> People tell stories. <laughs> Put the brush down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Come over here. Yeah, come on, yeah. Well, we're going to have like that Woody Buzz moment where we're looking up to a far. Now, now, you see, let's just say someone would summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal to fight Luna Light Leo Dancer. Luna Light Leo Dancer is going to whoop fucking Red Eyes' ass. Red Eyes, the main thing that makes that card relevant and powerful is because of what else it could bring out. True, he is good, but... I'm looking at them also as independent cards that stand by themselves. I by him by himself, he's just a 2800 monster that special summons another dragon. This card comes on the field as the boss of Luna Lights and comes on the field like I'm fucking immune to all this shit and I'm very big on OTKing. And I feel like comparing a card that wins games cards to, to a card's engine that I feel like could do a lot of damage. I put them very close and very similar, but that's my side. I view it as a card that I feel like OTKs and causes games. Can you, you see it. that? Can you, you see it? You I see it. He's the one that comes on the field like, I'm going to return it all to the deck. That one. I put him on that list because I feel like I kind of would put a few more time lords. I kind of categorize a lot of them, but I wanted to pick one. I pick him because he's the one. Because when it comes to time lords, I would be like, there ain't no problem, dude. Take your time. Take your time. He's the one that comes on the field like, all right, time to reset the board. I'm like, don't, 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 don't fuck with my shit. You could burn me. You could do whatever you want. But don't you dare shuffle my hard-earned shit to my deck. Don't. Don't do that. That card's not better than Red Eyes Darkness Metal, but, um, you know, it's, in my opinion, it's not better than Red Eyes Darkness Metal, but... He's your number one, you, isn't you're, it? you're making a good argument right now with, I'm not, your, sp your placement for the um, Time Lord card is a good argument, so I'll give you that. Okay. It's not better in my opinion, but there is an argument there, so you can have it. The one that comes on the field like, I reveal three, and then he's like, I'm on the field, and I'm invincible. What are you going to do, huh? 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 If you it's like so invincible, why is nobody playing it? Because well, Cubics don't really have that much support. <laughs> I mean, they did get recent support, but still not enough to But make... if I just have to reveal three in my hand, like, that sounds pretty easy, bro. Like, <laughs> how much tap was that? 3,000? Yeah. Yeah, ooh, that's a lot of tap. It's hard to get over. Just reveal three cards. You summon a free monster to the field. Does it have any, like, immunities? and like, yeah. easy to, like, negate? He got a lot Can you negate it summon with, like, a solemn warning? Um, is it... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... Can't if I activated on um, Stormy Miracle, I'm pretty sure if you use warning on fucking red eyes, they also yeah, go. Yeah, 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 that's right. But you don't gotta reveal three fucking cards to summon that shit. Yeah, well, no, you gotta banish a card. You gotta lose a on card for red eyes. You yeah, gotta lose a card for red eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as for my dark cubic lord, my, you gotta my brother cubic lord, he come on the field and he, he takes just. three cards. Yeah, and he's just like, here, just. He takes three cards. He's like, flash me. I feel like he's busted. I feel like he's one of the best cards in the game. He's the only reason why I think now, fucking dinosaurs another, are relevant. Now this is another card where I'm not particularly mad at the placement. Number four. I'm not really mad at that, that spot. But now, whatever you say after this. Alright, let's forget dark, <laughs> Red Eyes Darkest Metal. Let's compare it to this right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can these next three cards hold a candle to this? Because this that's a great card. I hate that card. I hate it. I hate a card that comes on the field that's just like, I can fucking I'm not shut gonna you lie down. To you. I'm not Fuck gonna lie to you. you. That's a great card. It's not even on my list, but that's a great card. I don't like it. That is a card that I overlooked. I thought he was over 12. No. I don't know why I didn't see him. He hurt me so many times. He's so easy to summon. I don't no, like him. The thing about Thank him, God for he's not that easy to summon. 
He feels like it. He's, he's kind. He is somewhat similar, but he's not. I wouldn't say he's easy to summon because you do require assault mode activate. But and if you want to run a whole assault mode deck, that's that's a that's a whole other argument. But one once he, it's one of those cards. that's like it takes a lot to get him on the field, uh -huh. but he's honestly worth it. Yeah. He's one to me. It's like how I feel about Light and Darkness Dragon back in the day. It's like well, it's like it takes a little lot to get out of it, and you got to play a certain way once you have him on the field. But he's worth it. It's like once you have him, you can kick back and relax. And I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, because once you summon that uh, Stardust Assault mode, that's a pretty annoying effect. Number two, I think the second best level ten monster in Yu-Gi-Oh is the Winged Dragon of Rosphia mode. I think having the ability, I guess face. I always say it. I feel like for me, I, I die. I can't fight that. You drop that on me, you won. You won. I I literally say, listen, I got nothing. You literally pick the three best cards on my board and go, and I'm like, no immunity, nothing I could do. That I could summon with like it's basically you don't get rid of it. You don't get your three monsters back. Yeah, you know how I feel about that card perfectly. It's like walking down the street in like a fucking thunderstorm, and you get hit by lightning. It's one of those things yeah. where it's like a rare hit. It's like it, if it hits me, I'm dead. <laughs> you know what? I, I wish I was editing this video. This would be the perfect time. I would take that clip from the Pokemon video. <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels like. A Quill Fort Towers is the best level 10 ever to exist in this game. It's been banned. No. no. You disagree? You think there's it's other not, It's not the best. It's not yes, the it best. is. It's not the best. Quill Fort Towers. It's, it's been best. banned. It's fucking, like, it's like past God card level of, like, immunity. It can't be fucking touched or hurt. There's no, like, real, like, thing that could really knock that card off. Like, Ross Fimo can kill it. So the same argument that you had with fucking Rat Eyes Darkness Metal and whatever garbage you said after that. I just want to show like a little like barcode thing where I just take like sphere mode and just put up one underneath it and yeah. just be like, one. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I'm like, eh. I definitely think Pull Four Towers is the best. If you put all of those level 10 monsters in a wrestling ring and a Royal Rumble. You think Apolipo Quillfort Towers is coming out as the winner? Yeah. The reason why is because I look at any card face to face with How's it. Phoenix Moon on your list? <laughs> How's Raw Phoenix Moon? Why ain't Obelisk? <laughs> Where's Slifer? <laughs> so that's basically my list. I I'm looking forward because I haven't heard your list yet. So I'm looking forward. Okay. We're going to find out next <laughs> Tuesday. You ready? You ready? I can't. Can you help me? <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa, this card's awesome. Contact Gate. Banish two meal spatian. Yeah, who cares? Alright, come on. Give me good money, good money. Ooh. Whoa, look. <laughs> so, Crusadia Revival. Yeah, I want to do Crusadia, but I'm about to make the best. And that's an ultimate ray, isn't it? No, that's a super, Evan. Uh, you can't tell a super when I'm you see it. A camera. You can't tell a super. You don't belong on this channel. You know, judge me. The, what is that? In, uh, what? Oh, in, interrupt resistor. It looks like an infernity. Actually, so, it looks like a raid raptor. So, these are the cards that the person won. If you want us to sign the card, um, well, we don't sign the super, we sign the rare. Yeah, if you want us to do that, just let us know. Appreciate you. Bye bye. Got him! <laughs> So guys, that's the video. Um, look forward to hearing your guys' opinions in the comments section down below. If you are new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. If you are old, click that bell for notification. That way you're always updated when we upload future content to this channel. Guys, our personal channels along with our Discord server plus my podcast is in the description down below. Hope you guys check those things out. And check out our two previous videos and have a great day and a better tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>